Hi everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. I have my sweet little Matthew here and he wanted to say hello to his aunties and uncles and him and I are going to spend some time together this evening after I'm done with this video. He is going to watch some Judge Judy with me because he is just like mommy. He loves to watch Judge Judy. So we are going to be doing that. But before, uh, before we can watch our Judge Judy, I do have a couple of uh, updates that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, um, in my last video, I talked about purchasing a reborn doll kit, but finding out it had a um, no guarantee on the kit if you heat the vinyl. And so I found that rather confusing. And so I had a couple of people leave me comments asking me to let them know what I find out. Well, I contacted the company today and they do have a phone number where you can call them, but nobody, you don't talk to a live person. <laughs> Um, it goes into a voicemail system, and so it gives you the option of either leaving a voicemail and they'll get back to you when they can, or you can send them a message to the customer service department, and that's what I opted to do. I sent them a message um, to the customer service department, and I was pleasantly surprised to have received a response from them so quickly. Um, in fact, the response came to me within a half an hour of my sending the message to them. Now, what I did, the message that I sent to them, I explained to them that I wanted to purchase this one particular Reborn doll kit, and I told them the name of the kit, and I said, but when I was reading the description of the kit, there's a paragraph in there that says the guarantee is voided if you heat the vinyl because damages and defects um, can be caused to the vinyl if it's heated or altered in any way. So I asked them if they could please explain that to me and I told them that I also noticed that this um, paragraph is only in the descriptions of the kits that are on sale but not in the kits that are not on sale. And I asked them, I said, does that mean that these kits that are on sale does that mean that the vinyl, it's a low um, quality vinyl that's used? Or are there defects on these kits that are for sale? And if you heat the vinyl, the defects cause damage to the kits. So I said, could you please explain that to me? And I said, um, and, I, and I told him, and I said, and one other thing, I said, I will not be heating the vinyl. I will not be reborning with heat paints. I said, I will be using air dry paints. So I said, the kit will not be heated. But I said, could you please tell me if I use the air dry paints on the kit, will it still cause damage to the vinyl, to the kit? This is the response that I got back from them. This warning is being added to all of our kits as vinyl is not meant to be heated and we cannot replace parts that are heated if defects or damages are done to the vinyl in the heating process. That's the response that I got from them. Um, it, what, it's not rude by any means, <laughs> but it was, uh, I say it was a little confusing to me. Um, first off, where they say that the warning is being added to all the kits, I guess it's their way of saying that eventually this warning is going to be in the description of all the kits, not just the kits that are on sale. The other thing is, is that um, they didn't address my question for using the air dry paints on this particular kit and if it will cause damage to the vinyl. And because they didn't respond to that question, leads me to believe that if I do use the air dry paints on that kit, 
that yes there's a chance it will cause damage to the kit because it's a kit that's on sale and so I'm you know I'm trying to think I'm trying to make sense of all this why they didn't answer that question and to me they I I don't know I don't know I, I I'm looking at this and reading it and um, I, I, I don't know I don't I don't know I guess it's their way of saying this warning is going to be added to all the kits eventually um, if you heat the kit you know that that the, there's no guarantee on the kits anymore uh, because vinyl is not meant to be heated so you know that's the response that I got from them and like I said it's not a rude response they weren't rude but you know I, I wish they had answered my question about using the air dry paints but they didn't and so that left me with the feeling that they didn't answer it and that just leads me to think that maybe it will leave it will cause damage to the vinyl so as much as I love this kit and I want to purchase it uh, because I would love to have this kit in my my nursery a part of my collection I'm not going to buy it and it's really sad because the kit is half price and um, but uh, you know I'm not I'm not going to take that chance I if I have a gut feeling my gut feeling is telling me do not buy it and so I'm going with my gut feeling and I'm not gonna buy it what I will do is I will go back to the company where I purchased my Ariana kits to make my Matthew and Madison and I will buy <clears throat> another toddler kit from them so that was um, the update for um, the uh, guarantee on the reborn kits that are for sale. So, and um, I hope that answered the questions for those uh, couple people that wanted to know what response I got from them. And that's the response. And like I said, they were not rude. It was not a rude response. I think it was just their way of trying to explain it as best as they could that there will be no more guarantees on any of the reborn kits um, because vinyl is not meant to be heated. That's what I get from this message that they sent to me. And the other update that I wanted to share with you, which uh, is a very, very, very happy update. I heard from the reborn mommy today that is uh, reborning the baby for me. And she sent me an email and said that she was done painting the baby and she got the hair in today and she was going to start rooting her and she asked me if uh, I wanted her to send pictures to me so I could see what the baby looks like and uh, let her know if I like it or not like the baby or not and I told her I said yeah that would be wonderful I said you know you can send me photos or I said if you want to do a WIP uh, video of her I said that would be fine too. just do me a favor and don't mention my name because <laughs> I said I don't want anyone to know who you're making the baby for so anyhow I guess it was about an hour and a half later I um, go to check my emails and I had an email from this reborn mommy and of course you know um, with my internet server if I get an email that has attachments it has a little paper clip next to the email and hers did so I went ahead and clicked on her email to open it up and it it seemed like it took forever for that email to open up and when it finally did a whole bunch of attachments showed up on the email and I have to tell you I just burst out laughing I, and it wasn't that it, I was laughing at the reborn mommy. I was in shock that she was able to send all these attachments to me. She sent me 10 photos of my baby. I can't even send, if I'm lucky, I can send three attachments on an email. And so when I responded back to her email, I told her, I said, oh my gosh. 
I said, how were you able to send me all those attachments? I said, I can only send three to an email. I said, your internet server must be fantastic because my internet server stinks. <laughs> I'm only allowed to send three attachments and sometimes only two. So, um, I opened up the attachments and uh, I looked at all the photos and I have to tell you guys, I started crying because she did such a beautiful job on my baby. She is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's not even her being rooted yet. That's just her painting. She did exactly what I asked her to do with this baby. And I so love how she did the, um, the, the, uh, mottling and the creasing and blushing. I am just so very, very, uh, I am just beyond being pleased about this. She did such, such a beautiful job on, on my baby. And, um, so I'm very, very excited. I cannot wait until um, this baby comes home. Um, I, I'm just so thrilled, so very, very thrilled, so very, very happy, and, you know, I am so, how can I explain it, my trading Genevieve for this baby was absolutely worth the trade, uh, because this baby is absolutely gorgeous, she's beautiful, and, um, all the work and the time that this reborn mommy is putting in to reborn this baby for me is well worth trading Genevieve for this baby, you know, giving her Genevieve and my taking the baby. Well worth it. Well worth it. And so, reborn mommy, mwah, thank you so very, very much. I am just so in heaven, so over the moon in love with this baby, and uh, she's just absolutely beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous, and thank you so much for painting her for me. Uh, she, you did such a beautiful job on her. So, those are my two updates that I wanted to share with all of you, and let's see, what else? Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Hmm. I don't think there's anything else. Nope, nothing else. That's it. I wanted to come on here and share about the um, the response that I got to my message about the Reborn Doll Kit and uh, share with you my wonderful, fantastic news about my baby. And, of course, Matthew wanted to say hello to his aunties and uncles. And he's got a few aunties out there that truly adore him, so he wanted to say hello to them as well. Everyone, thank you so very, very much for being a part of my channel and watching my videos and seeing my babies. And thank you for watching this video. Everyone... Please be kind to each other, take care, and have a wonderful and blessed evening. Bye for now.